Latino art is hot. It's the talk of the art world. Joe Segura helped bring about that awareness by supporting Latino artists when others would question their styles. In our Culture with the Cause segment, we visit Segura's Gallery, where the creative works of several Latinas are on display. Joe Segura saw a need 20-some years ago, a need to provide Latino and other minority artists opportunities to show the world their creations. And one of the main concerns with me in the beginning was that there was not a lot of um, exposure um, in the print market with um, Latino work, um, other, Hisp other Hispanic groups, and also um, other minority groups. And, and so I thought that I would try to invest time and energy to um, work you know, with minorities and expose that kind of work. Segura Publishing has worked with more than 80 contemporary artists. Among them is Luis Jimenez, whose work influenced Joe Segura as he began his career. You know, having these relationships with these artists are also very important. I know that, particularly with Luis Jimenez, I, I knew of him as a young man, uh, but didn't know him personally. But when I saw his images on the cover of Art in America, it had a very significant and lasting impact on me. I was thinking, well, he's a Chicano and he can do that. You know, why can't I? Well, years later, um, you know, I found a way to meet him and start working with him. And, you know, these relationships build personally, but they also, you know, we also, even if we don't meet each other, we have impacts on each other and that's really important. Is it safe? safer today to use the word Chicano artist, Latino artist, than it was in the past? More acceptable? Well, you know, I think that people, there are a lot of people who are concerned about um, being identified specifically as a Chicano artist or as a Latino artist or as a Cuban artist or as a, you know, some specific form. And um, I don't really have those um, I don't really sort of take those definitions and um, use them in that way. I mean, I, uh, the Chicano artist is, uh, I think, a very important way to describe someone who is Chicano who makes art. But that same person could be Latino, or that same could, person could be just artist. Recently, Segura opened a fine arts gallery in Mesa, Arizona. The inaugural exhibition at the gallery is a unique collection celebrating the work of Latinas. What the pieces have in common, beyond a shared cultural link, is the power of the different visions that produce them. Gallery director Krista Gourdier talked about the artists and their works. What you're looking at here is a memory. It's the artist's memory of a dance in a patio in Texas. The artist is Carmen Lomas Garza and she's made a, a fine career out of drawing and painting memories from her childhood. The statements that are made here in the show we have on now, the La celebration of Latino artists, are quite varied. They span a whole century. You have uh, artists like Carmen Lomas Garza or Claudia Bernardi who are talking about life right now. And then you have artists uh, like Tina Madotti or Lola Alvarez Bravo whose work is talking about a time at the beginning of the century or early part of the 20th century. Claudia Bernardi is an Argentine artist. She lives in the Bay Area and she's what we would call a mid-career artist. She, she shows all over the world, she does very well, but as well as being a, a professional artist, she's also a member of the Argentine Forensics Team. And that's a humanitarian organization that's hired by the United Nations and different countries to visit atrocity sites around the world. And they unearth the victims and try to discover what happened. They don't have any side, they don't work for either side, so it's completely objective. And her work comes out of her experiences with the forensic team. One thing that I really like is that we tend to focus on Latin American art. Well, we work with artists, minority artists. We work with women, we work with African Americans, but we work a lot with Latin Americans because Joe Segura, who is the founder of the company, is Hispanic. And the reason he founded the company was because he wanted to 
work with artists and create art that wasn't being seen so much 21 years ago and that was Hispanic Latin American art and it's exciting to work with because Latin American art tends to make a political or social statement and that kind of art means a lot to me and that kind of collector is a very interesting person. La Segura Fine Arts Gallery, a place of passion for culture with a cause.